Hello, hello, my loves. How's everyone doing? Let me see if I can turn up the light here a little so you can see me better. What's going on? Happy Wednesday. So today I'm coming here because I want to give you some of the wisdom that I was going to share inside of the premium client overload, overload, similar overflow challenge. I, as you know, in case you didn't read the email, in case you didn't read the post, in case you didn't watch my live where I announced it, I decided that I was going to save that challenge and made a very difficult decision to postpone it to next launch because I already have so many people interested in the magnetize and monetize mastermind that I wouldn't have been able to accommodate for all of the demand, which is kind of like, interesting right because i'm teaching you about how to create high demand and that's what i help people with inside of my mastermind um and now here i am having to deal with so much demand so it's like i'm walking the talk you guys <laughs> so i didn't want i feel like i want to give you some gems lots of gems because there's so much wisdom that i want to share with you around attracting premium clients around clarifying your message around just showing up and becoming a premium coach in a sea of coaches where most people are just not playing in the premium arena in the premium uh, field and the premium uh, paradigm and i really want to share with all of you the some of the things that i know all of you can use even as of today after you watch this live stream you literally are going to have a clear idea on specifically what we're going to talk about today is what are the key things that differentiate a premium coach than just every other coach? And what are some of the daily practices, ways of being that are gonna help you become, like embody a premium coach and then become a match for those premium clients? Because I want you all to know, it's not like rocket science to become a premium coach. I think, I think for so many of you, you feel like it's distant, it's difficult, and I'm just here to kind of break that paradigm and help you see how easy it can be or how simple it can be. Maybe not easy, but very simple. So what is up? Let me just make sure that I am going live in the right group. I see some people here. What's up? I hear some beeps and some pops with people who are saying what's up. Hey, beautiful, how are you, Emily? I love Emily, she's one of my clients from my mastermind, love her so much. Hey, Kate, what's up? Okay, so I uh, hope you guys can hear me okay. Let me know if you have any, I'm gonna bring up the comments here, so give me one second. Okay, so I have some notes, I have some notes. I have lots of notes that I wanna tell you. I hope you all brought your notebooks because this is gonna be amazing. By the way, give me, I know so many, like 400 people join the premium client overflow challenge. And I'm super curious to know where, where did you all join from? What country? I feel like this group is so diverse and I'm curious to hear like, where are you tuning in from? Genuinely curious because I have people from like literally all over the world. And like, it lights me up so much to see like where you're tuning in from. So let me know as I like pull up my notes and take some tea. Okay. Hey Kate, so good to see you. So while you guys do that, here's what I wanna start by saying. It's so kinda like, how do you know what a premium coach is? Isn't it like, I wanna start by defining what a premium coach is because I think it can be so subjective and so many people can have different definitions of it. Um, I actually would love to hear, what do you, like, what do you think a premium coach is? Tell me in the comments because I'm going to give you my definition and then I'm going to share with you what are those key differentiators between coaches who are premium coaches who are not premium, what makes them premium, um, and then what are the practical things that you can do. But I'm curious to hear what are some of the, what is the definition that you have of a premium coach? I'll tell you some of the things that I've heard. Like people tell me that they think that a premium coach is just somebody who like charges lots of money and they don't really care. Like they just charge lots of money, like a lot of money for their programs, but they don't really deliver, right? It's like, oh, these premium packages, premium coach is kind of like, they think that it's like some kind of like pyramid scheme. People don't really understand what is what premium coaching means, okay? So I really wanna hear like, what are your, what is your definition of a premium coach? Maybe if you don't have it, like maybe you don't actually know, totally fine. Um, but it's really interesting because I want all of you to see that everybody has a different definition. So most people think that um, a premium coach is just somebody who charges a lot of money, but doesn't deliver. 
And my definition of a premium coach is somebody who is really committed to their growth, their own growth, their client's results, and someone who charges accordingly. That's it. That's my definition of a premium coach. Somebody who's really devoted to their own growth, to their client's results, and who charges accordingly to that devotion. And it's so important that we come to a clear understanding of what a premium coach is because based on that definition, we can get clear on what are the things that will be will help you become a premium coach. It doesn't have to be this scientific thing that nobody can figure out. It doesn't have to be this like taboo thing or this like thing that you resist or kind of look down upon or feel like a little bit like all these premium coaches, <laughs> you know, all these premium talk and then how like a little bit of like like not feeling good about it right i'm gonna check out the comments you guys are leaving premium kate says a premium coach to me is somebody who has above average strategies and success rates beautiful love it great so it's an it's a line because hey gina how are you because somebody who is committed to their growth somebody who's committed to their clients results and charges accordingly is somebody who would have results above average right and strategies that really work. So notice that once we kind of lift up the definition and we understand what a pre- what being a premium coach means, then it's much easier for us to define what do we need to do in order to show up and be seen uh, as a premium coach. And so I think for me, what is important for all of you to know is that the reason why I'm such a stance for all of you to to want to become to enter the premium category is because what we do when we when we decide that we want to become a premium coach intentionally is we raise our standards right we raise the standards for what we're committed to our growth for what we're committed to our clients results and we raise the standards for how we operate and that's what i want to see more of in the coaching industry this is what i'm committed to bringing more in the coaching industry us what we do in these categories we raise the standards we raise the standards of the client that we want to attract the offer that we want to deliver the kind of sales process we want to have that it honors somebody that is trauma informed that is soothing that is loving that's stands for someone's vision. We elevate the standard for what we're committed to. And in doing that, we raise the standards of the coaching industry, right? We are committed to delivering the best service, the best value. And we're just not going to, we're not settling ourselves for less. We're not settling in our growth for less. We're not settling for less in our growth. We're committed to being the best version of ourselves for our clients and for ourselves, right? And if we are all committed to that level of delivery, imagine what would happen in the coaching industry like everything would be different right so that's my definition of a premium coach somebody who's committed to that level and to a level of growth and devotion for their clients and you just charge accordingly and so many of you are in this group because you are already doing that (laughs) maybe some of you are not and now this is some work now you're getting to understand what it what it really means and now you get to up level, right? But for so many of you, you are already doing these things and you're undercharging. <laughs> so I'm like, you guys, like the clients that come to me, they're already amazing at what they do. They're already attracting clients. They deliver an amazing experience. They're so devoted to their growth and their clients' results, but they're undercharging. And so what I help them with is completely shift that and helping them be grounded in their ability to charge more because they're already over delivering for their clients. So that's my whole philosophy. If you're going to over deliver for people, why not charge accordingly? So I really want you to sit with that. Are you, do you have some growth to do in like becoming a premium coach? And you know, this is not something that you like reach and then you're good. Like I'm always up leveling my delivery. I'm always intentional in like my marketing, in my own growth. I'm always up leveling every single day. And so of course, this is something that continues. It's something that is like not like an end, it's a cycle. Like we always, or it's like a, it's like a continuation. And so don't feel like, oh, it, I reach one point and then once I'm there, I will become premium. No, it's just like a consistency, right? And all of you are capable of doing that when you're committed to those two things, your own growth and your client's results. Make sense? Makes sense. Give me a one in the comments if this is landing. I'm gonna take some tea. You guys, I got some good things coming up. Give me a one in the comments if this is landing. If you have any questions, drop them in the chat. I'm gonna look at my notes. 
while you do that. And then I'm going to start by saying what are the key things that coaches who are premium do differently than coaches who are not premium, okay? Okay, so let me see what I got for you. I have lots, I'm just like trimming things down because this is like literally from the notes of the client premium client overflow. Cool, so here's what I want to offer, that the difference like once we understand the definition of a premium coach and we understand okay that's what it means that's what i'm committed to and you get to define your own you have to have your own definition but now i want you to imagine what it would look like to be a premium coach okay so in order for you to become a premium coach for you to get paid high and rates right so many people come to me and they're like, teach me the strategies, teach me everything on my messaging and my sales and my packaging and my marketing and everything, which is all that I do. I help you with that. But there's a very important step that I teach all of my clients as soon as they join the mastermind. And the most important step is to be in congruency, full alignment, full integrity with how you are showing up as a premium client right? Like, are you showing up? If you want premium clients to come to you, are you showing up as a premium client for your coach? Are you showing up as a premium student, right? And so it's first of all, looking at what do I want in a client? What do I think? What do I want my clients to be doing? And then looking at, am I doing that today? Am I being that right now? And it can be a little, thank you, Danielle. It can be a little confrontational. It can be a little like, oh shit, I don't, I backed out from that coaching program. I didn't pay that one time on time. I backed out from this. I backed out from that. I don't like that. Like, it can be confront. It can be a little confronting, right? But you guys, uh, this is why I'm so committed to teaching my clients the messaging, the packaging, the strategy, the copy. Like, we literally go everything in my program. But this stuff that I'm t- telling you right now is what we do. It's like the 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 fabric of what's like weaved into the flavor, the scent of who they become at the end of the program. They don't just learn all the strategies, but they literally elevate. They get into full alignment and congruency with who they say they want to be. And part of that is looking at, am I being a premium client? Am I showing up in a premium way? Have I been showing up in a premium way in my containers? Am I honoring my word? Am I becoming, am I being the client who is like looking for all the poking the holes of what the coach is saying? Or am I really taking on the coaching that the coach is giving me, right? What kind of client am I committed to being? Let's just say that you're not in a coaching program right now, but if you're thinking about joining a coaching program or hiring a coach, whatever, what kind of client are you committed to being? Right? And it's much easier to say, I want a client who's not, you know, um, who does the work, I want a client, who pays on time, I want a client who's fully committed, I want a client that's not clingy, not needy, that does the work, that is like committed to their growth, that takes on the coaching. It's very easy to say you want that, but my question is, are you being it? And that's okay if you're like, oh, I have some work to do. It's okay, we've all been there. But just notice that it's something that you can shift today in your way of being that is going to get you into alignment with what it looks like to go premium, right? So you attract the client that you are. That's it. And so you, it, it's, it's more likely you're going to attract clients that are committed, self-sufficient, that are, uh, you know, implementers that are coachable. If you are that, right? We attract what we what we become available for, like who we are committed to being. We, we we just naturally attract more of that, right? And so it's so important that, of course, there's gonna be people that are gonna not be the perfect match or exactly who we are, and that's just okay. That's just life. That just happens. But the more congruent that you can become in how you are showing up, the more that that's gonna show in the type of uh, the quality of people that will come in through your marketing because of the way that you're showing up in your containers, right? And so it's so important that we look at being in that level of congruency because all of us can take that every single day right? As, as a way for me to become the product of what I desire, right? If I want a partner that is amazing, that is loving, that is compassionate, like I get to become that first, right? It's same principle in like relationships. If you want to try that amazing dream person, like where do you get to also grow into becoming more compassionate, more loving, more patient, right? It's the same work. 
And so super important that we that we recognize that this is totally within our control. It's not like premium coach is some other thing. It's like, oh, I get to be that today. I get to already embody that. Okay. So that's the first thing. Are you being the client that you want to attract? What's your work? What can you start doing today? How can you be um, taking on your coach's coaching more openly, right? And like, no, retaliating or just being more open, actually implementing what they're saying, trusting. If that's when your clients, what you want your clients to do, then do a list of all the things you want your clients to be and then check. Am I, am I really embodying that to the, to the deepest level I can? Okay, the second thing is that premium clients are premium clients premium coaches premium a premium coach is somebody who knows that they are self-sufficient and they're responsible for their own results right so premium coaches are not like blaming the status of the industry blaming blaming things for their results they're not blaming outside circumstances they take responsibility for their results and they know that they're the full creators of their experience right and so if you um are not there then there's some work to do right like being self-sufficient is being responsible for your own results knowing that results come from you and so this is also a trait that you would want maybe your premium clients right and so where in your business are you maybe looking outside and saying that's why i don't have the results that's why i'm not fully there yet oh the industry the coaching or my other client my this my that and like any time that we're like blaming the outside for our circumstances There's work for us to do and responsibility for us to come back to. And that just gives us our power back, right? And so this is a premium coach is somebody who's showing up, being self-sufficient and responsible and knowing that there's no one to blame. This is just how I get to be in my coaching business as a premium coach and show up taking full responsibility for your results, right? Okay, bye, bye, Gina. Couple more things that I wanna share with you. So, I wrote over here, make decisions. So premium coaches make decisions and have their own back instead of wavering and doubting. This is a really important part because you don't need to wait to charge premium prices to embody the traits of a premium coach simply because what it looks like to be in a premium category starts with you, as I've been sharing, but really starts with your decision to have your back no matter what because the moment that you raise your prices the moment that you go and change your offer or the moment that you decide that you want to go for a different like niche or a different type of client that's more high level more successful then you're going to want to doubt yourself right the difference between premium coaches and every other coach is that as a premium coach you know that's going to be scary that there may be lots of times where there's no evidence that what you want is available and then you that like you surrendering to trust like you you relax into trusting right and to continuing your path every single day versus wavering and changing your mind and being in like floundering area because that's just not gonna get you forward like that you're kind of like making a decision not having your own back making a decision not having your own back and the only thing that does is it just breaks trust within yourself or with yourself and so is so important for example when we decide we're going to do something we follow through right like we're going to make a decision we're going to have a commitment and make sure we're making the decision from a clean place right so let's just say that you want to um i don't know, go through a launch or promote your coaching program right halfway through kind of like backing out and be like oh no but no one signed up and i'm like two weeks into the promotion so i'm just gonna stop doing it premium coaches don't do that premium coaches double down on why this is the best offer for my clients why is this the best offer for my business why does it light me up and then they go and figure out a way like where is the message uh not landing and then they go into solution focus mode versus problem focus mode right this is because then you develop the traits of a coach that can literally go through anything and can hold space for themselves and for their clients in that moment and so it's so beautiful when we get to see like oh i like i want you all to know you have full power and control of being playing at this premium level it's just raising the standard for how you want to show up and really loving yourself as you raise yourself to that standard of like i love you like this is my how i say it to myself like when like i just don't want to do something or whatever and i know that i want to, like it's in the highest it's for my highest and i'm like i don't want to and i'm like i love you too much 
to not like to let you sabotage in that way like i love you too much to uh, just let you like kind of find reasons why not to why not why you shouldn't show up today like today i didn't really want to do this did i want to do this last stream? i could have just chill drink my tea chill out right but i said i love you too much to let you do that i know how like it's gonna feel later and i just love you too much and i know there's so much wisdom that you want to share and so i consistently love myself up to the next level i don't shame myself to the next level and when you enter a premium category that is from a self-loving place from a loving experience there's nothing that will shake you nothing you can't lose the category. You can't drop like literally because you got yourself there from a place of love. And that's what I teach my clients. And so when we doubt ourselves, when we decide to do something and then we doubt ourselves and then we back down, we just break trust. And my invitation to you is what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? Oh, God, I'm going to get it. I'm not going to get emotional. <laughs> oh, it's just like all the memories of all the times that like I was so close to not showing up, to giving up, to like doubting myself. And I was like, I love you too much to let you do that now. Like I believe in you so much. And then I just went and did it and I showed up and I was blown away with the results. Right. Every single time it just created that deeper level of trust instead of breaking trust. And that's what creates your confidence as a premium coach. Right. And all of you have a, that have that available to you today. Emily says, love yourself to the next level. This is gold. Yes. Yes. You know how we're all girl. <laughs> this is the key, you guys. Like this is I'm the I'm the only I'm, I really have not seen anyone that coaches like me with the principles that I teach and like in mindset marketing sales with this flavor because it just requires more than just a strategy. It requires more than just like the perfect like the perfect formula for, for launching, which I got, but it requires so much more. It requires the beingness of you and elevating yourself to a premium coach that is everything so that you can sustain those results. Okay. I'm gonna move on. I could go on, like that could be a whole topic, but I'm gonna move on to another thing. Another practice. So I kind of wanna tell you what I, I wrote down here. They are a little delusional. They never stop believing that premium clients are watching and they show up accordingly. Literally, like that could, the live stream could end there. <laughs> so good. Like premium people, you guys, do you think that I, I was born out of the womb thinking I'm a premium coach? no I had so many doubts about like who, who the fuck am i what would i charge them somebody pay me rah, rah. now i made 1.5 million dollars last year serving my clients to the deepest level focusing so much on their or like my the number one goal of my company is to always have a hundred percent success rate meaning the clients that come to us get exactly what they came for and this is what i have developed in my company and so for me to 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 be like I had to be a little delusional to think that, that that was available to me. And I want all of you, when those voices come in and they're like, who the fuck are you? Listen, look at your look at your numbers. Look at your engagement. Look at your likes and comments. Look at your bank account. Or look at like you did this, this six figure launch. But like, can you really do a 200K launch? You did a 200K launch, but can you really do a half a million dollar launch? Like all of that will come up at all the levels, right? Like. I am at that level. I am at the level where like launches are 300, 400K, right? And there's still the voice that comes in. And then my, the difference between you and I is that I'm just much faster. I like processing that and integrating it and like processing it. But I had to be a little delusional in the beginning or when I was like, the, every time that I up level, I have to be a little delusional to believe that this is possible. And this is what successful people do. They don't just go by what the industry standard is. We set the new standard. That's, that's what we do. We create the standards and then we love ourselves to the next standard and then people come with us. And this is what's available to you as well. But you have to be a little delusional to believe that's possible for you and then you have to show up accordingly, right? In a loving way towards yourself. But it has to be a little crazy, right? And that's okay. It doesn't all have to be, I feel like safe and yummy all of the time. Like there are times where you're like, like I remember when I had my first $40,000 client, I thought $40,000 for my one-on-one -on -one was crazy for a while. 
And then I got like, I had three calls booked, three calls said no in a row, and I had to be a little delusional to continue believing. And then the fourth call, $40,000. And now I have plenty of clients that pay me $40,000 for my one-on-one. That's just, but I had to be a little delusional and I had to get there. Like I wasn't charging $40,000 from the beginning, right? But I had to get there, right? And now I continue to have to have this delusional part of me that gets to always remember that I can't like, I can create the impossible and all of you have that available to you. So every time that you wake up, I want you to remember, like, am I willing to be a little delusional to believe that what I want is possible and that I can become a premium coach because I'm so committed to my growth, to my client's results, and I'm willing to charge accordingly? Like, am I committed to doing that for myself? And like the answer for me is yes, right? And the answer for my clients is yes. And so we set the new standards and we become, we just do it in a little bit of a delusional way. <laughs> yes, Daisy, love you. I love you so much. Daisy is also super stunning in my mastermind, you guys. If you want a like a woman who is just devoted to their clients' results and coaches, specifically women of color, reach out to Daisy. Daisy is the freaking every time I want to call with her I cry I'm like your mission is so big that I like literally can deal <laughs> okay oh this is good okay so last one that I want to share with you one of the things that premium clients are committed to I mean premium coaches are that differentiate them from everyone else is that they are not interested in instant gratification they're interested in mastering the process over and over and over again. This is not easy to find because I know so many of you, you're like, listen, give me my result tomorrow. I wanted it yesterday. I want my six figure launch yesterday. (laughs) I want to be fully booked yesterday, right? Oh, I want my, you know, first 500K year or $1 million a year like yesterday. And the thing is, you guys, that it's important to remember that I want all of you to relax. And this is what I teach my clients in the mastermind. You got to relax knowing that when you take off the limits on the timeline and you think more in an infinite timeline, um, I think that Simon Sinek talks about this, that having an infinite timeline for your goal, if you relax knowing like in an infinite timeline, is your goal possible? Yes. So can you relax knowing that your goal is inevitable and then take the actions, move the needle forward one degree every day instead of focusing on like, did this post sell today? And then I'm going to make a lifelong decision to quit my business or not quit my business, but like quit the launch or whatever. Like, no, you, it doesn't matter what, how much engagement you get on a post. It doesn't matter how many applications you get. Is it possible that things can change tomorrow? Is it possible that everything can change at the last minute of the launch? A million fucking percent. And so premium coaches operate in a more premium elevated way because they're committed to that process, to the mastery of the process. And they're fully in trust versus the, everyone else is so focused on like today, today, today. And if you like, I have friends who are like owners of nine figure, nine figure companies, eight figure companies. And like, if you ask them, they're not even thinking about the next year. They're thinking about the next three years. Some, some are thinking like, I think in like one year ahead, right? Like I'm plan, I, I plan everything in my business quarters ahead right like I have everything planned until 2022 at this point because I think about the bigger vision I'm committed to mastering every single launch every single day but I'm not trying to like get instant gratification right because I know my goal is inevitable so I get to just relax and so these are all important reminders that in order for you to become a premium coach like these are ways of being that will naturally attract more premium clients who are the same frequency and of course i'm not saying this is all you need to do i mean listen yes it's important to have the right message it's important to have the right offer it's important that you commit to your clients results and deliver an epic experience for them these are all things that i teach you inside of the magnetize and monetize mastermind which is my three-month mastermind where i help you clarify your message so that you can get fully booked with premium clients and we elevate the quality of clients that you attract so that you attract most premium clients i help you clarify your offer so that you are known for having 
a signature method that nobody else has so that you elevate in the premium category and people start knowing you for that methodology. And I teach you how to clarify your message and write super magnetic content and copy that attracts those people and makes them like literally raise their hand to come to you. And I show you how I grow my audience, how I've been doing it for the last two and a half years. I literally have one person that does this in my business. I have super high margins in my business because I don't have a huge team. And I show you how to have a sales process that really honors the the, the power of the other person without taking the power away or pushing them or, or um, forcing them, but really just helps them make a powerful decision for their future. And that is everything that I teach inside of the program. So I'm not saying that all you need is just this couple of ways on being. This is just the beginning. This is just things that I know all of you have within your control that you can change today and start like really embodying today that are going to make a huge difference in how you show up for you, for your business and for your clients. So so good let's see what you guys are saying danielle says can you talk a little bit more about the look of a premium coach what's your view on this the way somebody dresses and anything else you feel you can add to this oh my god i love this question danielle so i think that you don't need to have like this fancy look for like to become a premium coach really it's about your like how you show up and your energy and i think listen for me some people might think like oh you're fancy or whatever this is me monday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday like this is just how i am like people always like wow you look so great you are always so well dressed i'm like yeah this is just latinas (laughs) maybe it's just because i'm a latina i don't know but like i am like that and so i just naturally kind of always gravitated to towards this vibe and you don't need to do the same it's just just like my vibe right and so I, i do think that it's important to dress aligned with your highest self like I just always make decisions everything that I do is based on a decision that I see my higher self already having made so I anytime I make I make a decision I'm like higher self what did we do <laughs> what is your message for me and I, I chose to embody like my two million dollar self years ago right I chose to, I just thought about like how does Juliana two million feel look dress behave think and I just started becoming that person and so for me, this is the look that I love, right? This is the look that Juliana Tamillion is, is like has been embodying, right? So it just became natural for me. But but it doesn't for you. Like I know a lot of people who are like myself at two million is like yoga pants and like whatever. Listen, that's you. Great. Like honor your own style. I do think that there is more than just the looks that is what magnetizes people, is how you communicate, is how you convey the value of your offer, which is what I help my clients do inside of my program, is how confidently the conviction in which you're able to to talk about what you do. And it doesn't matter how you're dressed, it doesn't matter if you have cute pictures, it's just about your delivery and all of that is totally within your control. So I do think it's beautiful and it helps, like let's be real, when something looks beautiful, people are more, it's, it's more magnetic, like people are more, um, drawn to it so like and like I'm gonna be like straight up honest here like yeah when people see something beautiful they immediately have a beautiful uh impression but you don't require that like you don't need all of the fancy stuff like you guys I have a client who made a million dollars this year jazz she had a three hundred thousand dollar launch and she doesn't even have a sales page I want I want that to like blow your mind you don't need a sales page to have a freaking three and she has like we've done like three launches together she started with like nothing she had not even a program she didn't even she had never even made sales like sales calls and like with me over since march we started working last year and now she made a million dollars and she does not look she has not fancy (laughs) she doesn't have any fancy shit right she's like the most like whatever kind of like connected to her audience kind of person so i think that you decide right i do i do recommend like it just people are like people like people just want first impressions people fucking give it like they care about first impressions right and so if you want to shortcut the time that it takes for people to like sit with you in like your premium air like vibe like why not do a nice photo shoot like dress however you want to but don't fake it like don't don't feel like you have to force yourself into it ever i love that question 
Okay, let's see. Daisy says lean back. Yay! Ashley is here. I love you, Ellie. I so love the magic tip. Oh, no. oh, I love Ellie. I love all my clients, you guys. Oh. So go in. Okay, so all of you who are here who are my clients, I just want you to know that people might start hitting you up because you know what I say? If you're interested in the magnetized and monetized mastermind, I want you to apply today. And if you want to know if it's that good, <laughs> Or if it's not that good, you can go and ask my clients. They reveal themselves in these live streams. <laughs> you can watch their testimonials. You can just maybe ask them. And I don't know. You guys can tell me if you don't want people hitting you up. All good. I'll stop saying this. But I think that there's nothing better than like hearing it from somebody else who like experienced um, um, their the program. You know, if you have any questions. And I also want to say that like my client's results mean nothing about you if you're curious about joining just because somebody else has results doesn't mean that now your results are more possible or less possible right this is because results come from our thoughts our thoughts create our feelings our feelings create our actions and our actions create our results so my clients whatever results they created is because of their thoughts they were having and how I was influencing their thoughts. But you are different. You are a different human with different thoughts, with a different different potential. And so I never like go, I never look at other people's results and think, oh, then that means that it's more possible, less possible for me. I always remember that I am capable of creating even bigger and better results than anyone else or not, but it's always within my power. So so go and ask them, you know, because you're just whatever. But truly remember that your results come from you. And once I help you align your thoughts with the kind of results that you desire, that's where the magic happens. So it's like a co-creative experience, right? You have to be coachable. You have to take on the coaching. And it really depends how quickly you implement it, right? So just wanted to share that. And I'm going to drop the link here for all of you to apply if you are interested there are only five spots left and so i just want you to know that they're filling up fast i have like three calls but i'm looking for only coaches who have already had clients okay you're already attracting clients and or you, you know you're very clear on like the direction that you want to go like okay i've attracted clients uh, now i want to go premium right so you want to clarify your message you want to clarify your offers you feel really confident in your ability to help somebody and that's just not even like a doubt right like you're like i know i can help people just help me clarify the pieces and help me really embody that energy and that level of confidence because i know i can do this right i'm not gonna go and try to convince you to raise your prices i'm not gonna try to force you to do anything like you have to come sold that that's the vision that you desire and i can totally help you cool ashley says hit me up anytime all right we'll see how many people are gonna hit you up <laughs> um Ashley, uh, Daisy says it's, all, it's already been happening one line. Do it. Ah, I love you all. Love you so much. Okay. So tomorrow. Oh, by the way. So let me tell, let me tell, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. So this week, um, over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing some more live streams. because I want to give you some like more of these like nuggets. And um, so you're so welcome, Danielle. And so here's, I wanna tell you the schedule. So I'm gonna be doing live streams every Thursday, which I normally do in case you're new to this group. Hello, my name is Juliana and I help coaches clarify their message to attract for young clients. <laughs> but I do live streams in this group every Thursday um, at around 12 p.m. Pacific. Um, and so I'm going to be doing those consistently. If you want to come and like be like, I want to check out this girl. I think she's got some wisdom to share because I'm interested in the mastermind. I'm interested, period. Come check out the live streams, but definitely make sure you apply sooner rather than later anyway. So I'm going to be doing live streams every Thursday and then and the following weeks, I'm going to be doing the live streams on Tuesdays. Um, so going to be like at around 3 p.m. 3 or 2 p.m. Pacific, okay? So if you want to come live, ask me all the questions. You're more than welcome. Otherwise, you're going to get the replay in my, if you're signed up to my email list, I send the replays the, replays the following day. And just know that I'm just going to be delivering some like super badass value because I love you all. And even though I didn't do the challenge because um, there's already so much high demand for the program, I just want to come and like give you the things. <laughs> 
<laughs> and just know that the biggest transformation that you can that you can create is by joining the magnetize and monetize mastermind so i love you all so much so fun hanging out with all of you and i will see you let me just make sure that i didn't miss anything yeah so next time we're going to be talking a little bit more about i'm going to give you some of the topics we're going to be talking about like um like how to make meet me your income goals how to create high demand packaging pricing lots of stuff around packaging pricing and like getting your mindset to 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 like match that and messaging we're going to talk about messaging for premium clients um how to get clear on like how to you know who to speak to so we're going to talk about the really really good things um so yeah that's what i have for you today i love you all I love you all. Kate says, I'm going to save this and rewatch again tomorrow. Yeah, it's one of those things. I give you like guys lots of value. So like rewatch the replay, let it sink in because there's lots of goodness. And I will see you tomorrow. Not tomorrow, Thursday. Wait, tomorrow's Thursday. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> Alrighty. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Mwah.